Hello, boys and girls, wherever in the world you might be and might be listening. Welcome to another episode of Talented Gooners. This is episode two, and boy, do we have a treat in store for you tonight. As you know, the tagline to this show is our community, our people. And if there's anyone who highlights the beauty of the Arsenal community in that little place called Islington, it's this wonderful woman and her talent. It's Ruth Beckart. Here we go. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Please stand clear of the discussion doors. The next stop is Highbury Squad. Good evening, good morning, hello. Whether you're listening in Timbuktu, Europe, Asia, Africa, to all of our listeners around the world, welcome to another episode of Talented Gooners. Joining me today, this has been a long time coming. I've been trying to convince <laughs> this wonderful woman to come on the show and welcome Ruth Beck to the Highbury Squad. Hello. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. You'll be kind to me though, Sophie. I will, you? absolutely. It's not a post-game show and you're not willy Ann, so you are so safe um, with me uh, on this fine day. Thanks Good. so much for joining me. And I know, you know, sometimes for a lot of people that come on, you kind of get out your comfort zone and stuff like that. But I've been a long admirer of your work and absolutely love what you do. You're so talented. And for me, you know, I'm so grateful that I finally twisted your arm to do this. Um, <laughs> it took a little convincing, didn't it? <laughs> it did, it did. Um, well, let's get the better with me. Well, that's okay, you know, because once we get going, I think it would just be fine. So tell me about growing up, right? Let's start at the very beginning, because this okay. is what I love for folks to know about the wonderful people doing really good things in our community and stuff like that. Uh, because you have a great story. Uh, your mum sounds like a, an incredible woman. And tell us, tell us about where it all started for you. For me, it was um, Highbury. I was born in, in Islington, in the Royal Free Hospital in Liverpool Road, and um, to a little Irish mum and a mm. Cockney dad. Typical 1970s family, really. Um, they lived in Highbury. My brother was there before me. And, um, yeah, we just popped into, the, popped into Highbury. How lucky was I? That's amazing. You know, was That's amazing. Planned. So, yeah, um, grew up there very happily in Balfour Road, just off Highbury Barn. Went to Highbury Quadrant School. Um, to me, Arsenal was everything. It was the butchers, it was the bakers, it was the calf, it was everything. Everywhere we went, every single day, it was Arsenal. So I thought everyone in the world was an Arsenal fan. I thought everybody knew Arsenal. <laughs> I went to primary school and um, assumed everybody was an Arsenal supporter. <laughs> certainly isn't the case which I still even today can't understand why um but yeah that's really where it started so I was born into it really it was um I wouldn't say forced upon me because I I never fought it mm -hmm. <laughs> so you it's know it was a pleasure you talk about um the community and you know being an Islington girl and uh, you know through and through and it's these types of pieces of your work. And I, just because you mentioned it, I'm, I have to put some of them up. I did a, a couple. Um, but it's these kinds of pieces yeah. that I just love. <laughs> I mean, how many times have we all been into the exactly. Golden Fish Bar? Um, and then, you know, you've got the Arsenal Food and Wine Shop. You know, you've really captured in a lot of your work um, these these pieces and... I guess, I guess, you know, when we look at the neighbourhood and the, your love for the Arsenal and stuff like that, how old were you when you went to your first game? Like, when did all that start? Well, the thing is, I have a weird sort of history with Arsenal football mm -hmm. um, because my brother was the, the main football goer in our house. My mum was the main football fan. Mm -hmm. um, she was the... She loved all sorts of sports, 
she was the only she's the only person I ever knew who would get the newspaper and read it from the back page <laughs> first. So she'd Zippy. turn it over, read the sports headlines and read it to the front page. And then that was the boring news. The important stuff was on the back. Um, so my brother was always the Arsenal fan and he um, used to very reluctantly let me go with him when I was quite little. But I was probably more in awe of being with him and being at the Arsenal mm -hmm. um, rather than necessarily being, you know, like you had these huge Arsenal, obviously like you, Sophie, that mm -hmm. grew up loving every aspect of football. I loved Arsenal for my home because to me, Arsenal has always been, it's so weird to explain, but as soon as I was in Highbury, I knew I was home. Highbury yeah. was always home. And that the integral part of that was Arsenal Football Club as well. So yeah. it was more of a love of everything that was connected with Arsenal and Highbury, um, rather than individually picking out matches and players. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? No, I love that. You know why? Because I think our generation when we were growing up, and I think it's probably the same for a lot of kids today, what, you know, sports is a vehicle of togetherness. Yes. And sports always brought brought my family together, definitely helped cultivate a relationship with my dad, you know, and I totally understand what you're you're saying. And we had Bob Wilson on um a few weeks ago and we were I was saying to him, I'm like, you were a staple in our home on Saturdays. <laughs> Grandstand football focus. You know, my dad would go down to the fishmonger, get some crab, make some salads. So I totally get what you're I never did. I wasn't able to do that with my brother because unfortunately he's a Spurs fan. I have no oh. idea how that happened in our lives. Could you imagine oh that goodness. to the, right? <laughs> Shocking stuff. Is he still a Spurs fan? Unfortunately, you're yes. Not been able to convince we've him otherwise. We've never, ever, ever been to a football game together, ever. Wow. <laughs> so I totally understand what you're saying. I had my cousins, thankfully, that I was able to have that experience with. But that probably brought you and your brother even closer together, it didn't is. it? And even and to this day, we're even closer because, um, mm -hmm. I mean, he's the most important person, you know, to me in, in my life, really. You know, we've been through so much together over the years. Um, he was 50 a, a few years, a couple of years ago, but only a couple. And um, we had his 50th birthday party at the Highby Barn. We all could sort of convened down there again um, nice. to meet up and so we had um his birthday drinks at the Harvey Barn pub and then for his birthday I, I got him a plaque you know by Thierry Henry's corner they had the celebration wall yes so, um, we got him a, a plaque for his birthday there so we all kind of and you've got a wonderful yeah. a wonderful piece of Thierry oh I love that one I love this one too <laughs> I love that kit great, I love it's great I love that kit isn't it? yeah mm -hmm. It's, it's such a remarkable day and you know that was such a, a great image from it so i just felt i really wanted to to paint it what's I, your I didn't, what's your style what did you paint that with is it that's just watercolor watercolors paint. right I, yeah i just sketch it in pencil um I, I hate drawing it sounds weird but i hate drawing mm. so for me the drawing aspect of it is is quite boring I love getting the paint on there and then and then creating the picture with the paints, really. Well, the detail in the stand, in the clock end there is just phenomenal. I mean, it's really incredible. And I love these ones. Um, I, this is one of my favorites. I was, oh, I, I were love you, that one. I love, I love that day. <laughs> that whole day was just so <laughs> epic. It's just so emotional, isn't it? Every, yes. And there were a few shots of him doing that, but that particular one I, I really liked. It's very iconic and a, a wonderful moment. Um, and I love how he thought he had broken it first and then realised, you know, I mean, it's just so classic, right, isn't it? And, of course, this legend as well. Yes. It's just typically yeah. understated Dennis, is it, <laughs> right? He was, I just, never, he, he was never too flashy. Tell me about Dennis and was... Was he one of your favourites? Oh yeah, I think every everyone mm -hmm. loves loves Dennis, don't they? Everyone loves God, you know. He um... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, who who couldn't? I don't think I've ever heard anybody say a bad word against him. 
really. Mm-hmm. There's a few players that come and go, and you know, we have favourites, and people go, oh, no, I don't like him. But I think there's anyone who doesn't like like Dennis. I mean, he's just... Yeah. I'm going to put a few... I'm going to put... Is uh, did, did you... Do you take from a... Do you just do it all from your mind or like the, obviously the Henri one, there's some iconic photos. So that is that your kind of yeah. mood, your mood board? Do you set a mood board? Well, there's things that um, inspire me. You know, I I, I get that if I say this one, this East Stand upper tier, I mean, that's mm-hmm. like a series of just views of the Highbury Stadium. So from obviously when it was a football ground and not what it is now, but um, there's a, there's a few of those. There's like the clock end entrance and the yeah, the east stand, and I just I just love it. I mean, I've walked mm-hmm. past that so many times, holding my mum's hand, going down to Blackstock Road, and you know, it, it's it's just so for me. Walking past that stadium isn't just about football. It's about going to the dentist, and it's about our trips down to the Wimpy and Finsbury Park, you know, it's, mm-hmm. it's so... Yeah. <laughs> I love a Wimpy. Blood. I love the Wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> Was it the Rum Barber? Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like but it's funny because I, I I would say I've done like 132 Islington paintings and I'm so far, I'm on 51 Arsenal. So my Islington catalogue is is massive and every... I can honestly say that every painting I've done has some some memory for me mm-hmm. and my family. So it's it's a real personal journey because um, I lost my parents twenty years ago, and part of you know the paintings really speak about getting over losing them as well. There's a lot of memories caught up. It's like this Blackstock pub here yeah just down as you look to the left of the pub my mm-hmm. dentist is down there so whenever i see that <laughs> i think of orthodontic treatment so, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah there's lots and lots of memories and the, the wimpy used to be down the road from there and yeah this um the west stand upper here um, yep. the first arsenal painting i did i did a version of this for my brother's birthday and he um he has that original now but that really was where my the the Arsenal painting started because I'd done about six or seven Islington ones and I was finding my hand. You know, I was getting like mm-hmm. my own style and getting used to the watercolor. I'd never used watercolor paints before either. That was a, a new sort of experience for me. I was all, always doing acrylic painting and pencils. I just love how you've captured the atmosphere. I love these so much. And I, I love how, and we'll get to like some greeting cards and stuff in a little bit here, but there's a lot of what you evoke is nostalgia. And yes. one of the reasons why I love so much the title of our podcast too is, you know, we've got Super Kevin Campbell on it who can't be on today, but um, he loves your stuff too. And he oh, just, he's such a, he's such a gooner, you know, yeah. at heart. And when you see this, like it's so un- it's so unique, like the stairwell, you know, um, and this the, this entrance was just crazy. Yeah. Um, and the fact that there, it has this architectural vibe to it and the art deco and the, the, the listed built, isn't it just stunning? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just it's such a shame that we we're not there still because it is the most beautiful mm. football stadium in the world, in my opinion, it's just it's stunning. There's nothing even compares close to it. Yeah, no, I, I would, ag- I would agree with you. I, I love this one too, um, where you've got the legends in the dressing room. <laughs> uh, I like back in the day too, how they used to pop their heads out the window, yeah. you know, and say hi to everybody. Um, that my was brother always... still has, um, a, a can of, I think it's Budweiser. It's a can of beer that Ian Wright gave him. <laughs> that um, he has placed very, you know, carefully amongst his Arsenal collection. Yeah. I love that. That's epic. That's really cool. Um, Let's get to a little bit. I'd love your juxtaposition from being such a lover and artist of the iconic Arsenal and Highbury Mm -hmm. and, you know, being inspired by that to kind of having to shift gears in some regard with 
because at the end of the day, you you are an artist. You you will give the details. Everyone look on the ticker tape too. By the way, you can see Ruth's Etsy store, and she's very kindly given us a discount code code for the holiday season. Um, it's which I would... it's forever. It's forever. Hybrid squad people drop the mic. Twenty percent off. Twenty <laughs> percent off. That's yeah. very generous, and I yeah, love not it. Just for Christmas, you see. We're going to be taking full <laughs> advantage of that. So, how do you feel when you? look at the emirates then you know like for our generation kind of having come from the highbury days and give us oh, your take on a, that it's still a, a fantastic stadium and um, you know it's 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 magnificent in its own right you know but um it's not as character filled i'd say for me uh, mm. looking at different entrances of, of highbury you know it's it's very um I wouldn't say one dimensional, but you know, there's, there's like lots of the gates are similar. I've done yeah. a few views of, of the Emirates, but I'm struggling to find unusual aspects of it. So I keep trying, eh? I, I, I keep plodding along. I'm sure people have um, suggestions, which I'm always open to, to draw different um, views of places. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that they've got a new dressing room launched, so it'd be nice yes. to try and depict that in some way well one thing that you did capture i think insanely like you know creatively is the recent protest oh, right. this yeah, is that was um this AFC is great Talk me through this yeah afc glenn on twitter he took the most incredible photograph mm -hmm. and he should get the the most um credit for this image it was amazing and i saw it on the day of the protests and i just um was blown away by it really it just was the most incredible image and i decided to try and paint it i hope mm. i did did the picture justice and um glenn contacted me and said you know he, he really liked it and i said well is it okay to you know to to use it and he was flattered but um he said would i make any donations that were made on the sale of the print to a charity that was very dear to him which i did and that was the um, Kidney Foundation. So, That's yeah, wonderful. we made a little bit of money and that went off to the Kidney Foundation. So, yeah, it was a really good cause. This is where social media really is powerful and yes. it's wonderful. I know there's yeah. a lot of toxicity on Twitter and people get, you know, a little crazy and upset. And sometimes, you know, just the bullies and the abusers. I mean, hopefully something will be done about that someday. But this story just gives you perfect example of how, you know, two artistic people appreciating each other's work yeah. and then out of it comes the incredible picture from AFC Glenn yes. and your incredible painting. To me, this is one of the most iconic moments since moving to the Emirates. I know we've won the FA Cups and that's been wonderful, but when you talk about moments, there was something really unique and special about this because we had been so divided as a fan base, Ruth. Yeah. And to see you guys capture that moment um, where we were all on the same page that day, there was it not really one was. Arsenal fan. Yeah. Yeah. It was, um, it was, it's really special. I love that. Right. Um, we've got Ruth here for a few more minutes, uh, a few more things to show you because Aside from the Arsenal stuff, which is great, by the way, there's amazing pa um, paintings of Caledonian Road and even more of the neighbourhood. I've just given you a smidgen of and Highbury, what, lots of Highbury, and, and lots of Highbury. Uh, you know, Home. in inside, outside the streets. The I love. I, I put this up very early, but these are the ones I love the most. <laughs> How many times have you gone in there and got yourself a? a oh, I don't know. Forget about it. Bit of chocolate. I'm going to put uh, this one up again because I can't take burger. it. Oh my god, these guys! In they're so epic. It's just it just brings back so many insanely good memories. And I put this up at the very beginning of the show, but wanted to bring it back up because, um, you know, our 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 show, our brand, and it's all about the station, the getting to the game. You know, uh, Arsenal Station, which sometimes I think we've all been peed off a little bit when you can't yeah. get. A train home and stuff like that but very iconic again ruth i love that one it's really sweet because i've had people buy my postcards and um you can actually from what they've ordered you can actually map out 
their journey from High Islington or the Arsenal station or maybe Finsbury Parks. So they've done all those and you can see their actual journey to the ground where they got their chips, where they had a pint, where they'd met their friend, where they'd gone into the, you know, whichever gate they chose to get into the sta- stadium and then the journey home. Amazing. And you can actually map it out because I've done so many Islington based images that it's all, it's all relevant. You know, all these places are part of Arsenal as well. And that's why, you know, it was so important for me to get everything on canvas or on paper that, um, you know, was every part of every day growing up there. Yeah, it was, you know, you know, what's great about it too, is you mentioned it at the top of the show with your brother and that relationship. And I think the beauty about it is you make all these friends at the game and you don't necessarily see them outside of the game. You just see them on game day, you know, or you just see them at the pub before the game or after. And it's so true what you say. Every piece of the journey to the match is a piece of nostalgia and a memory that you'll always have. And I don't know about you, but I can actually pinpoint things that have happened in my life based on the Arsenal and and games and stuff like that. It's It's incredible. Um, right, before I move on to some non-Arsenal stuff with you, I'm going to close out here, uh, just a few minutes left with Ruth. Um, you can check out her stuff. Uh, the link will be in the description of this show. You guys are so lucky. She's given us a lifelong 20% uh, discount for all of her beautiful work. Um, she has a, a variety of awesome stuff. You can check it up. Here it goes right now. It's www.etsy.com UK shop Ruth Beck art. And you can use code Highbury Squad for your 20% discount. Right, before we go, favourite ever Arsenal player? I would say Kazola. Wow. Believe it or not. Nice. I love him. And yeah. I did a little painting of him and I love it. <laughs> cool. Oh, if, I'll share it with uh, the, you know, so we can keep it fresh in everyone's mind we can share a little painting you know as the as the weeks go by here during the holiday season especially i haven't seen the santi one but i'd love oh, to see yeah. that we can share it with the gang and stuff like that put it on my wall oh lovely <laughs> um do you were, were you an arson arson wenger or george graham girl uh probably george graham yeah more so what's your favorite ever game God. Well, let me put it this way. What's better achievement, Anfield 89 or the Invincibles? Oh, my God. <laughs> that's oh, like no. asking which that's one of my children do. <laughs> that's, that's mean of me to put you on the spot. There, I, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can't say. They're, they're so important in their own rights, equally. Mm-hmm. Um, but the Invincibles was just amazing i don't think i mean people have tried to you know to challenge it liverpool mm-hmm. for, for instance but you know no one's done it no it's no really incredible yeah and when you hear <laughs> sir alex ferguson talk about it the way he did too um or does uh and then there's the arson wenger invincibles dot coming out which i know a lot of us can't wait to see it right i wanted to put up some of these too because it's not just arsenal oh, yeah these oh. are just beautiful were you Will you talk me through these a little bit? Is this a passion? You are definitely an animal lover. I know (laughs) that you have some wonderful um, uh, pets of your own. I do. I've got like a zoo here. We've got too many animals in this house. Um, (laughs) That particular, the polar bears, was um, that was raffled off for charity. Um, That that was done in acrylic. I before I did any of my watercolors that I suppose I'm known for now. Um, I did a load of acrylic painting, but my hand was getting worse and worse. And I ended up having, you know, surgery on that. Mm-hmm. But this is all pre-op paintings. And yeah, the, the zebra I, I love. I, I can't part with that one. A lot of them I've given away oh or gosh. sold, but I can't part with that. It's got a little heart on its neck, which is really I see sweet. It. Yeah. That was actually on the animal. I didn't add that. Oh, that was sold a couple of years ago. Yeah. Somebody really... His mother-in-law loved Highland balls, and it was a Christmas present. So, I yeah, love these that one. <laughs> I love that one, and I love oh, this. Yeah. This yeah. has got a million stories. This I feel this. Uh... Oh, 
Well, elephants, I've, I've done a few elephants over the years. I, I love them. They're just so graceful, mm. wonderful animals. And my husband won't let me part with this particular painting. That's up in our one of the rooms upstairs. Yeah, it's he particularly beautiful. likes that one. <laughs> It's well, and if the hubs likes it, I say keep it, you know, yeah. uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> and then it's getting to that time of year, and you, I love your cards, it's one of my favorites. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Talk, talk me through what you decided for the collection this year. Um, well, I wanted to see this is my third year of doing Christmas cards, yeah. um, so it was just I wanted to get like a, a, a couple of obviously the Emirates and which is a new new Arsenal I'd say and mm -hmm. then the iconic um Highbury stuff um but I I just thought keep them all landscape choose my favorite ones that were all landscape sort of I've got portrait uh position pictures um but they just sit nicely you know the Islington is all green the Arsenal is all red and they come in little presentation boxes um I just felt it just summed up the Islington ones, just sum up the whole area, mm -hmm. really. And it's that brilliant. includes the Tony Eastlake memorial painting, the um, Islington cards that we raised money for. That was a, a tragic story here in Islington. Um, he was murdered, sadly, uh, middle of this year. And oh, his, um, his family are related to my family distant like cousins and when I heard what happened we were, we were all devastated it was terrible so um I did a painting of, of Tony on his store and um mm. we raised over 600 pounds in the Islington community That's wonderful. I went to the GoFundMe page and I sent the original painting to his daughter and she loves it it's something that she oh that's cherishes. wonderful Ruth yeah. oh yeah, you know so, it's um so, when faced with such adversity if something mm -hmm positive can come out of it and that's really that's it's people like you this is what we love about this show and what we're trying to highlight is that yes this is your livelihood and your business but the fact that there are so many people we had little mikey pooley on our first episode who's you know young footballer and he's you know he was born with full sight and he went blind and hearing his dad deal with that and you know, but what they're trying to do with their story and inspire others and be part of the Arsenal in England, um, you know, um, community as well. And for you, Islington is just, tell me what, what it means to you um, oh, as a place. I'm, I mean, it's, for me, I mean, I, I don't live in Islington anymore. My, after my parents passed away, um, the contact for me to Islington had gone because they were living up there. I live down mm. in Kent now. Um, I can't, I'm sadly, I will never live back in Islington unless I win the lottery. It's yeah. way out of my league. <laughs> but um, all my childhood memories are related to walking around Islington, shopping there. I love it. The, the buildings are beautiful. The houses are beautiful. Mm -hmm. My husband and his family are from Islington, but I met him down here in, in Kent. We're all sort of ex Islington. There's hundreds and hundreds of us down here. Yeah, we've all sort of dispersed. And I met him down here. And when the first thing he said to me was, where are you from? And I went, I'm from Highbury. And I, the amount of times I've said to people down here in Kent, I'm from Highbury, and they go, oh, where's that then? And I go, do you not know where Highbury is? I mean, if you, it's Arsenal, it's London. And they go, oh, where's that then? So I got fed up with saying to me, I still, I still always say I'm from Highbury. Um, mm -hmm. And then I, I said to him, I'm from Highbury. It's in Islington, it's in London. And he said, I know where that is. I'm, like, I'm from Islington, I'm from the Angel. Hilarious. More lot are from the Angel. So it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> One of a kind, finally. That's so that's so <laughs> epic. Well, look, it's been wonderful having you on today. Um I have Thank you. I have one for you to consider for the future. Um okay. Uh, the, getting these two icons together the other day was pretty incredible. Maria, yes, probably Maria. the most amazing woman. Um she's an inspiration to me as well. Uh, and Ian Wright and the way Ian supports the women's team, especially uh, the two of them, that could be that could be quite one. Just throwing it, yes. throwing my uh, recommendation in the ring. Do you know the mad thing is, I don't do portraits. People go, can right, you paint, I'll find paint me? A <laughs> <laughs> I, if you look at all my paintings of the players, 
Yes, you won't I see, see their now. faces. This is true. They've look. got their back. Yes. Look. Yeah. I'm rubbish at portraits. <laughs> okay, so you know what? I'm going to find that's another ideal. one. I'm going to actually ask our squaddies to pick a picture, right? Yes, and please. we're going to throw it your way, and um, and we'll see what what comes of it. Uh, I think that will be. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Then I'm I'm sorted. I I, I do love it, the odd brick. Okay. I'll, be <laughs> I'll make some. I'll make some notes. <laughs> well, look, it's been wonderful having you on. Tell everyone your Thank Twitter you. handle as well, so they can find you. At Ruth Beck Art. It's on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, yeah, you can find me at Ruth Beck Art, and RuthBeckArt.com is the website. So yeah, please, please take a look. Brilliant. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Sophie. You're very welcome, Ruth. I am so appreciative um, that you've shared your time with us. Um, we love your story. We love what you're doing to keep the Arsenal legacy yes. alive, old and new. Uh, we yes. have an incredible fan base from all corners of the earth. And you ship anywhere around the world, right? I do, worldwide. Okay, wonderful. All four corners. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, we're going to be mentioning you um, a lot on the show between now and um, the end of the holiday season and then beyond that as well. So thank you, thank you for really your generosity it. and giving us the discount. And yes. um, hopefully we'll get to chat football again real soon. I hope so. Lovely. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Please stand clear of the discussion doors. The next stop is Highbury Squad.